Hello folks, how's everybody doing tonight? It's Matt from Humby's Hive. I'm just uh, here on Tuesday night. We're gonna be scrolling. I came up with something that I thought that it would be very useful for me at my desk at work. And I found a, uh, a neat little phone stand for my phone from Steve Good. Uh, it was one of his patterns. I looked through there. I'll leave a link in the description. So we'll just get started. I'm using quarter inch. This is Sapili. Uh, I think it's a really cool wood. It's one of my favorites and I think it finishes really nice. So uh, we'll cut this out and then we will be able to uh, hopefully glue it up and finish it up. So, so I have uh, the number two modified geometry blade. I like using this on, on thinner woods, this quarter inch, it should cut uh, pretty good. I have some, some cuts that need to be pretty pretty dead on um, these little these little notches are gonna fit into these holes so I'm gonna do my best to cut them not make them too big or too small I think I'd probably rather go a little bit too small but I can go back and maybe sand them There we go. I'm gonna leave this pattern on here just in case I have to go back and cut out. Um, as you can see, I kind of didn't go all the way up to the line, stayed on the inside of the line. Um, but if you take a look at this Sapili, uh, I just, when it's all sanded and when you oil it up, it, it looks really sharp. It's uh, one of my favorites, so I'm gonna set that aside. So you put this little logo on there you know that's optional to cut i don't know maybe i'll brand my my logo in there or something like that so yeah check out steve's steve's uh vlog that he does daily gives daily patterns that's amazing um a lot of them are really good i, I enjoy them i've cut quite a few of them i thought this would be a, a really neat thing to do so we'll see how this turns out All right, so there's our first leg. As you can see, this is gonna be the, the wall that the phone rests upon. And so I definitely need to make that a little bit bigger. But then the phone sits here. It's gonna kind of sit like that. So to say this is the phone, it's gonna sit in that little groove and it's gonna lean. And then you can obviously I'll break it. Move this back even further. 
and it'll give the phone a little bit more lean. Lean it back even further. So. All right. There we go. That one fit in there. This will go down once this one goes in there. Awesome. I'm going to mark that so I know which one I've already done. Look at that. It'll be nice when I glue it in there. Now let's do the other side. Very thankful I didn't cut too much to begin with. Alright, that one's gonna go too. Sweet. So, here's the one side, cut the couple pieces, we're going to end up gluing this together, and then, so say this is the phone, this sits right here, this other piece is going to, I need to make that a little bit bigger. Yeah, that fits better. There you go. Perfect. So you can adjust this back piece, and the phone can lean up against there. Yeah, I think that turned out pretty good. I think I'm gonna round over the edges a little bit on the sander. We'll take that down to 220. We'll get this spiely with some oil in it. We'll definitely glue these pieces down. I trim this one up a little bit just so it's resting a little bit more. Yeah, we'll glue that in there and I think that'll turn out good. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody for watching tonight. Um, we got to work on this Steve Good. I'll turn everybody around. All right, we got to uh, work on this uh, project for, uh, again, this is gonna go on my desk. This is gonna hold my phone. Um, it's a phone holder. We can see the Steve Good uh, uh, pattern. It's got a couple different ways phone can sit so yeah i do appreciate everybody for watching tonight um hopefully uh you enjoyed it and everybody have a good night and i'll talk to you later thanks